are my rock. Thank you. You said that last night to me and made me cry. You always have been from the time you were very young. I learned from you. You've made me a better person. And I really could not have done the last 20 years of me raising you and Lisa without you. I mean, you really were a solid core to my life personally. And I can honestly say that I didn't raise you. The three of us, Lisa, Lauren, and myself, we raised each other. And you're still raising me at times. I mean, you have to tell me, Mom, come on, that's kind of out of the line. Um, so, <laughs> so I love you very much, and you and Brian have an amazing future together. <laughs> um, and then I just wanted to add one little, one little thing. The night that they met, the, neither one of them came home. Lisa and Lauren, and I think it was Morgan, I can't remember what three went to this so-called party down at the beach. And so I'm home and, you know, I wake up every few hours and the house is still empty, so I try to go back to sleep. And about 10 o'clock the next morning, I get a phone call. Of course, I run over to the phone. I'm like, oh, Lauren, are you okay? And she goes, yeah, where are you? Do you where's my car? Where's Lisa? Where's everybody at? I mean, are you safe? <laughs> and she says, mom, mom. And I, she goes, I think I just met the man I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. The very next morning. He's rolling. You guys are amazing. Love you, dude, more than anything. There's a lot of people in this world that could be in this room, and I chose you all because you're so fucking special to me. So, Henry, Robert, Matt, this guy, Ted, Kurt, Kevin, love you all. And uh, let's get fucking crazy tonight. Have a good time. Huh? Good very Cheers. 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 Pack, pass that guy around. Yeah. Lauren, I still remember the moment our eyes first met. You were at my front doorstep, standing between two of the fine women behind you today, with your confident, passionate stare that I immediately fell in love with. I've replayed that moment in my head more than any other moment in my life. That entire first night, I did my best to impress you and keep your attention all while navigating the distractions that go along with nearly losing control of your own house party. <laughs> Luckily for me, you stuck around and apparently I made a decent first impression. Here we are, almost nine years later, and I'm doing the same thing as that very first night, doing my best to impress you and make you smile among a world of distractions. These days, my distractions are work and uh, these fine gentlemen behind me and a lot of guys and gals in the audience. <clears throat> You've made me a better and more focused person in every way. Uh, your love and dedication are more than I could have ever expected. I can honestly say that taking this step was one of the simplest decisions in my life. Lauren, from this day forward, before all our loved ones, I vow to stand by your side through the good times and the bad, to guide you when necessary, but more often be guided by you, <laughs> to be your shoulder to lean on when you're down, and just as importantly, be your happy companion when you're up. And I vow to always treat you tomorrow the same way I treated you when we first met. Brian, you are the love of my life. Sharing these last eight years with you and building our lives together has brought me more joy than I ever could have imagined. It feels like we just met yesterday, but at the same time, I feel like I've known you my whole life. You make me smile in a way that no one else can. I fell in love with you because of your positive attitude and the effect that you have on everyone around you.
that's who you are. It's amazing. Um, you treat every single person you meet objectively with respect and you pass no judgment. This quality makes me a better person because of who you are. Committing my life to you is easy because without you, my world would be dull. I promise to always be there when you need me to fill your days of light, to comfort and encourage you, to always fix your collar in the morning, <laughs> to convince you to think more impulsively and less logically sometimes, <laughs> to be your activity queen, <laughs> to always give you strength, and to love you with all of my heart, all of my life. I'm so excited to create a life with you. We've created so much already and I just can't wait. There's so much more to come and I love you so much. Do you want to take mine to be your husband, to love him, to cherish him, and to share your life with him? I do. Do you, Brian, take more to be your wife? Lover to cherish her and share her love. I do. For whatever reason, they had Kevin be responsible for holding <laughs> <him. laughs> and, and when we were out there, he was he was saying, he said, "Look, I've got it right here, holding it up, and between like two little fingers, <laughs> right over the grate or the sewer." <laughs> <laughs> There's already a ring there. Yeah, you can put the second one on. Does it fit? It was ring pepper. That was a joke. I have small fat fingers <laughs> for anybody wondering. By the power of blessing you need by the state of California as a Supreme Court judge and now pronounce you husband and wife. Now, we also practice this during a rehearsal. And Brian said, I don't need it, we've got lots of practice, but I told him he ought to do it a couple times, and they did. And it, was, it, was, it was a memorable moment, but now you can, you can kiss me. You know what, um, in a lot of ways, this night is a long time coming. Uh, it's been a long time, uh, eight years, nine years now. Um, Lauren and Brian uh, have a very consistent love. Uh, since the first day I've met Lauren, I almost feel the same way as I do right now. Uh, she has been very warm to me and everyone around me. She has fit into our group that, like Kevin said, we have assembled here. <laughs> You know, um, what a lot of you may not know is our family, the Shapiro family, the Rask family, is, is relatively small. And uh, it's really beautiful tonight to know that we are making it bigger. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, please give it up for your Brian and Groom. Lauren and Brian, the new Mr. and Mrs. Shapiro. Gentlemen, they're looking absolutely gorgeous. You guys think Lauren and Brian are the most beautiful couple in the world.
I, uh, I saw this metaphor recently and it reminded me of you and it goes, you're beautiful but tough, like a diamond or beef jerky in a ball gown. <laughs> and it made me think of you. <laughs> I wish you nothing but genuine happiness with Brian and you guys are perfect for each other and I love you both. <laughs> and Brian, I'm not done. <laughs> Brian, my brother, you've been my brother for, and my best friend for eight years, almost nine years. I was there the night you and Lauren met and you've always been the best person to be around. Um, I can always look for you to, for advice. You, you have this aura that everyone gravitates towards and I think people genuinely respect you and listen to what you have to say. It's a phenomenal day for our family. And I'm really, I'm really surprised to have heard Cindy with those magical words. The magical words being that Brian would go over to her house and pick weeds. I'm going, of all the things he never did at our house was pick weeds. You know, I said, Brian, you want to do some lawn care? And he'd say, uh, no, not today, Dad. So Brian, to you for picking the weeds at the, at the right house, I guess it was the right house. But in all seriousness, obviously this is a huge day for our family. Uh, these three guys have been phenomenal brothers and each have raised each other. It's, it's a great day. So all I want to say is, uh, Brian, I couldn't be happier for you. And Lauren, you know, another fun, funny thing is, 28, a little bit better than 28 years ago, so we were, supposed to have a daughter and uh, and my daughter's name is Kevin okay <laughs> so, so, uh, <laughs> so after all these years so I finally have the daughter that I was destined to have and Lauren you are so welcome into our family as much as I know that Brian is welcome in yours <laughs>